Oh my gosh, your beauty sleep interrupted. My beauty <laughs> sleep can wait. All right, we're back with the bang. And so our multiple offers. Oh, for sure. So I'm really excited to share this story with you. Varsha has heard it before, but I'm sure she'll interject. <laughs> it's a good um, one, it's a good one. So um, there are these clients that I was working with recently and uh, this beautiful home comes up for sale and they're very excited. Tanya, let's go take a look at the home. Is this in Milton? This is in Milton. Okay. Uh, really nice detached home. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, there wasn't much inventory out there, right? right. So I was like, okay, this seems like the perfect home for them. Uh, me on Broker Bay, trying to book a showing, everything is blocked. Oh, I was like, oh my God. It's a how glitch. Many other, There's a glitch somewhere. How like, many how other people happening? are interested? <laughs> All right. Apparently, they had like about 82 showings. Oh my goodness. All right. We uh, finally get a showing. Uh, I try to get the agent on my side and make him my best friend. Cut to showing day. Yep. We go check out the property. Clients love it. Uh, we do a walkthrough inspection with an inspector because, you know, I always want the clients to be prepared, especially if we're gearing up for backing. Oh, definitely. Which is a multiple, multiple offer situation. Definitely. Right? Absolutely. Um, I have established good rapport with the agent, uh, talked to him about the clients, you know, kept him informed so that he re remembers my name yeah. to all the other agents that he's <laughs> been talking to and cut to offer date. Uh, we go in with our best foot forward. And what does that mean? Okay, so when I say best foot forward, we always look at it from the point of view of what works best for our clients in terms of uh, financially, have they been pre-approved? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, is this a home that they can afford? Yeah. What are the expenses that they can expect after that ex uh, you know, inspection? Would you Just also include in that your best foot forward is also having your buyers put themselves in the seller's shoes to yep. see what would be the most enticing offer given a multiple offer situation. Absolutely. Right. So there are a few key points when we're talking about multiple offers. So the first thing is price. Right. In any multiple offer situation, I Definitely. always tell the clients, put your best foot forward. What is it that you feel comfortable with right. in terms of price point? Let's not be in a situation where for five, ten thousand dollars, if you lost that home, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Would it be a heartbreak? And that is it. It's it's more so how it's not how high are you willing to go? It's what are you prepared to walk away? Exactly. Knowing that this sold for just a little bit more, what price is that? What 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 point are you willing to walk away? Exactly. Right? Yeah, go so on. We yeah. want to be prepared for that, number yeah. one. Uh, the second thing is a deposit. You know, put yeah. at least I would say five percent yeah. down because that shows you as a strong buyer. Definitely. Um I never uh, tell clients don't put in any conditions. It really depends on what yes. they are comfortable yeah. with. And right? the market, like what is the market dictating? Yes, we're in a multiple offer situation. Yeah. However, we can still be cautious and make sure all best interests are upheld somehow. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, on. wait, we need to get to the end of this story. <laughs> so, uh, this uh, on offer date, offer date comes, we're all prepared, we talk to the broker. Uh, you know, we're going in with our best foot forward in terms of offer, in terms of conditions, in terms of price, in terms of whatever we terms, can. Terms, everything. Whatever my clients feel most comfortable with. Yes. And their best foot forward, that's what we're going in with. Yeah. Uh, so I've talked to the agent. It's almost 11 p.m. in the night. Oh my gosh, they your had, beauty sleep interrupted. My beauty <laughs> sleep can wait till, <laughs> till tomorrow oh, because yeah. I want to get this done for them. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. Um, we, you know, we land up in a position where where one of the top offers, um, and I still keep that constant communication with the agent. I'm sure he's exhausted by that point in Definitely. time, dealing with these conversations. And uh, you know, the sellers decide to kind of sleep over it. Uh, you know, we've we've done our best from our side. And next day morning, I get an email saying that wanted to wish your clients all the very best the sellers have chosen oh, an the offer the heartbreak the instant the, heartbreak the I feel instant that. heartbreak yeah and letting my clients know but at the end of the day they yeah. were they understood they yeah. were okay with it because they put in their best they put in their best that's for, right for sure but 
Do you give up? I don't no. give up because <laughs> that is still a conditional offer. Right. So I said, okay, maybe a couple of days more. You never know if those buyers don't come through. Correct. You know, I want to be the one yeah. that the agent calls. So I send an I send the agent a text. Yeah. Let him congratulating him and his clients. Of course. But also letting him know at the same time, in case, for whatever reason. Yeah. Oh. If that offer doesn't go through, right. I better be his only <laughs> call, not first call. I, I better be his only call because you know my clients. He can see you know the passion, excitement on their Naturally. side, and they put their best foot forward. And that's what you're there to do. That's exactly. what we're there to do right. as their real estate guides, essentially. They're professionals. Okay, we don't just. We've taken the ball right to the end, but you don't drop it there. Like That's you right. have to follow it through, and it's okay. Sometimes being second, sometimes being the backup, is even better. Right? Oh, because it gets it's it, even it, it, better. It gets it gets better than that. <laughs> oh. So so this email comes in in the morning at yeah. about nine ten a.m. and at seven around seven p.m. past seven p.m. I'm done dinner with the kids. I'm lying down on the couch <laughs> watching Netflix because I was like, "Shit, now I'm, you know." I was a little bit heartbroken, right. and my phone rings. Yes, yeah. And guess who it is? That's it. Thank She's you. like, uh, Tanya. There's been some. I would love to kind of share, but I can't share those intimate details. Right. There have been some challenges. Are your clients still interested? I was like, "Hang on." Yeah. Call the clients. I was like, "Yeah." This can be ours. This is it. This can be ours now. Absolutely. And that was it. See, and that does happen. And I, I'd say, you know, maybe somewhat overlooked in the midst of most people talking about multiple offers right. is that really crucial part of building rapport with the listing agent, right? Building rapport, keeping that open line of communication, because sometimes it can be so easy in the thick of a multiple offer. You're waiting to hear back from someone, you know, everybody's like feeling stress the pressure is there it can be easy to just sort of right. let those emotions get the best of you Correct. but that's our job is to keep it in check uphold our clients best interests and it's not always about going in with no conditions no or it's, it's not. not we you know there were still conditions yeah even with 17 offers yeah even with 82 showings is that not telling of what our market is showing today you exactly. know because i think we've been a little bit conditioned in the last couple of years to think uh, multiple offers means it's going for a huge balloon inflated price and you can't have any conditions right but that's not the case that's not the case it's not the case it's a case-by-case -case scenario yeah. and i love that story because being a backup offer, you know, it's not often, I can't say that that happens where the backup offer becomes the offer of choice, but when it does, it needs to be highlighted and it needs to be shared. Hi, I'm Tanya. Hi, I'm Varsha. Welcome, Welcome to, to Coffee, Coffee with, with Keystone. Keystone.